illustrations by Pete. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm just going to do a quick flip through of something that I was really excited when it came out. It's a good book, but uh, it has some drawbacks. I just wanted to go through that. So this is the Strathmore Tone Gray. It's the it's the Tone Gray Mixed Media Book, and it's a great book. It's 184 pound, very thick paper. You could throw a lot of stuff at this. And uh, this is the 8x5 sizes, soft cover. It was, it's a nice book, just with a couple of flaws. Okay, so uh, I did one side on this. All the drawings are one-sided. Most of this was done during 2019 Inktober. 2019 Inktober is when I did most of this stuff. But I did finish some of it. I, I started it probably earlier in the year in 2020 and, or 2019 rather and then finished it in 2020 so just started out drawing some characters in here I used a couple different mediums I used some colored pencil I used some marker I used fine liner I used a brush pen um, I think I said colored pencil already I used water soluble pencil and just did a couple of different things here just to see how the paper would uh, hold up held up really well okay just a guy this is a character I was working on it was based on um, another character that someone else had uh, done this section right here I thought it looked pretty cool I put it on this guy uh, theirs was not a character though theirs was just uh, I think this was in the side of a mountain or something like that and I thought it was a pretty cool design so I put it on this character right down his chest uh, it's a little different than what they had but it's um, the idea was the this glowing with the yellow and orange and that's what I did this was drawn by Kim Jung Gi he did a huge drawing and uh, I just picked out one of the guys and recreated him on this he, this guy was actually fell out of a river or fell out of a boat rather sitting in the ocean and there was a boat behind him and um but i i really like this drawing i like how it came out except i think he has like a werewolf hand i made him with a werewolf hand and he's not a werewolf but that's what it looks like okay this one i think that was just one page yeah it's pretty thick stuff people all right, so this one was just a couple of character drawings. I did one here that I didn't like, so I just covered it over in black and then did the character drawing with white gel pen. Okay, I don't understand why, but every time I see skulls, I see them on a table with candles. So I drew was drawing some skulls, and I like to draw bones, skulls, shapes of things, because it's, I just like all the different shapes and, and areas that you can get some texture and things like that. So I like to draw these kinds of things. But I just figured at the end I put this little section right here with this thing so it looked like it was on a table with a candle. I guess that's, that's just what people do with skulls. They have them on tables in candles in their homes. I don't have any. I don't have any tables with skulls and candles. But some people, that's just what they do with it every time I see the picture that's just how it is so uh, I, I wanted to I wanted to be in the in crowd so I did the same thing there's a weird little Martian character thing I don't know I don't really don't know I was just trying to be creative and said if there was something on a different planet what would it look like and this is what I came up with I hope I don't ever see anything like that it's pretty terrible I was watching Breaking Bad and uh, did a cartoon version of Walt and uh, just did my own little thing. I really like toned paper, toned gray paper. I know I've said that before, but this one is a little bit dark for me. It's almost, um, well, the color correction that I've done makes it look more gray, but uh, this is a little bit on the browner side of gray. It's a warm gray and there are little fibers in here that you can see you probably can't see but I can see there's little brownish fibers in here this was um, 
I think I was watching one of the Star Wars movies and did something like this based on one of those old droids. They don't look like this, the body or whatever, but it just, the, the head shape is kind of similar. Just came out that way. More character drawings. The, the I enjoy drawing caricatures. I know you have to say it like that. You can't say characters. They're caricatures. That's how people say it. So that's what they are. And um, I enjoy doing this more than trying to do something that's more the likeness of someone uh, in an actual drawing. I just You can put a little bit more expressiveness in a face like this. And, uh, and if it doesn't look like the person, nobody cares anyway. Because it, it's just fun to look at. I don't know why I did this outline all around all these things I just did uh, it just I don't know okay so this was my first attempt at what someone else was telling me was an automatic drawing this is not an automatic drawing it's a doodle automatic drawings do not have form and complexity they're very they're very sporadic they're very it's just lines on a paper, really. That's an automatic drawing. This is not an automatic drawing. It's just a, it's a doodle. That's what it is. And I, when I was doing it and I, I made this thing here and then I put this eye in here and then it looks like, like a mouth with a tongue here. And so I guess this is some kind of interdimensional creature. I don't know. I don't know. I was just having fun. Uh, did a couple more caricatures but this time they're not human so so that's that's that this again was another one I think it was by uh, Kim Jong Gi again and I was looking at some of his art and he had this guy kinda just walking off into the sunset and I wanted to see how busy I could make it and still make it look like a guy walking off into the sunset so I put a lot of different markers and colors and things in here and well, I still think it looks like a guy, but, you know, he's a little bit crooked. Whatever. doesn't really matter. Oh, these are Piedora's pens, what they look like. They are not vibrant at all on this paper. Of course, it's a toned down, toned gray paper, so it's going to make them do that. But it, I just thought that was interesting, so I wanted to try it out. I did the same thing with the Tombow markers here. Uh, that was from a comic book. There was a character in a comic book, and I I just drew it. Uh, it doesn't look like this. I think if it looked like this, they would not hire that artist to illustrate that comic book ever again. But this is my version of that, and they have not asked me to illustrate this comic, so that's okay. Uh, more caricatures. This looks a lot like my Uncle Richie, but um, I didn't tell him that last time I saw him. But it, it does. It looks like it. But I enjoy these. I really like drawing caricatures. I don't like saying caricatures, but I like drawing them. Here's a few more. Who did it where with what? It's not who you think. This was, um, this is going to be... Tom Holland, when he's like 60, uh, you know, he's probably going to, th anyway, this is what I'm going to, this is what I did. Oh. Some scribble art bird drawing. I love doing this scribble art. Love doing bird drawings. So I just stuck them together. There you go. That's what you get. Uh, this was in Daniel Potvin's, uh, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, but he did something similar to this. I thought it looked really cool, so I did my version of it uh, in here, and it, I just I like the way it came out. I think it's it's pretty cool drawing. I may try and just do this again because I liked it that much. I don't know where this came from. I don't remember. I know it was someone else who had something similar where there was like a a land with some weird 
creature on it. Uh, so I did that, and then I added a spaceship in there, and um, and that's that. This was just to show that watercolor does not come out very good in this book. It's just everything is so it, it's so dark the paper that everything else comes out very dark also. I probably could have done this in gouache and it would have came out great, but I did it with watercolor and of course watercolor is translucent so you see the paper behind it and that's what you're seeing behind it. Okay, so this one so Everything up till here was 2019, and then I stopped using this book completely in Inktober 2019, and I just picked it up in August of 2020, I think it was, and I think, I'm not sure of the exact month, but here it is, just a little, you know, just a little thing. It was just a nice little drawing, and I thought maybe it would be a good chandelier to hang from the ceiling. Uh, it looks like a weird floating pirate. I don't know if there's two eyes and a big mouth here and a nose. I don't know, but it, it's a. It, I like it. And this is my favorite drawing in the entire book. It's just some kind of ship thing with weird feathers coming out of it and weird, like I don't know, coming out the back. And uh, but I like this is my favorite drawing in this book. That's it. That's all I got. That's the whole thing. 48 pages. And I do like this book, and I probably will try and get another one and use it maybe with some gouache or something. But uh, it's it's a lot thicker than the Stillman and Burn version. I wish that the Stillman and Burn version had paper this thick in it. Then that would be my favorite book ever. But they don't. So I have to pick and choose what I'm going to do. So, anyway... That's it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's a couple more videos, I think, somewhere over here that you may enjoy watching if you've seen this one. And I will see you in the next video.